welcome back to the channel. This is episode three of my wife's pregnancy journey. Uh, we are about to head to the place where they do the ultrasounds. I'm not really sure how to what the what the proper name of it is, so you guys bear with me. But we are going to get the final ultrasound um, of the baby, and then. After that, we should be done with with the ultrasound. Um, so I'm about to go get the car so we can head there now. So as always, guys, sit back and relax and enjoy. How y'all doing? It's been. I yeah, hope y'all, hope y'all um, having a good day. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, been for weeks, you know. I know. I think it's not like the typical like my journey type of vlogs because life be life is, and if you have any business that we do, life be life is. Yeah. <laughs> Today makes officially a week mm -hmm. that I've been on the And yeah. Just yeah. my body is still accustomed to work though. I tell you that much. Like mm -hmm. my body still wakes up early for my schedule that I'm used to having. But yeah. I really don't have to. But then of course, you know, our daughter goes to school in the morning too, so yeah. that's a benefit that I can have, you know. I just want to get her ready. Occasionally, I'll actually go with hubby to drop her off to school. I definitely go to at least try to pick her up. Sometimes I can do both, but today, you know, I was able to, like, uh, you know, accompany me, accompany them to, um, to drop her off. And then now we're actually, you know, waiting for him to come out. Yeah, because if you, if you come here early, you get a good chance of finding a spot. Yeah. Where you don't have to walk two and a half blocks to get right. over here and pick your kid, right. your child up from school. So, yeah, yeah. that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We are definitely also getting ourselves ready for a baby shower. Yes. For our little baby boy. Yes. Oh, look, I I did something. Y'all can see it. <laughs> Y'all can see it. Look at him. He is just so cute. Look at him. Look, look at this guy. Yes. Can y'all even see? It's the sign. Oh, hold on. Let me put the bam. Look at this. Can y'all see? No? Okay, look. Well, I saw a little bit. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Look at look that. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> That's him. That's him. And he is he is a character. Like every time we get a every time we get a uh, Saturday picture, he do a photo in. I'm gonna never forget his first one. His first one. He was like not trying to have it. He was like he shook his head he no. He shook his head no. He said no. And then he yawned. <laughs> no, that's that that's the second one. Oh, that was the second, the second one, one he just kept yawning like he was tired. I'm like, baby boy, but you tired. <laughs> Tired of doing what? <laughs> I mean, I guess because he's over there fighting all my organs and whatnot. So I guess, you know, he's preparing or, you know, his drum set, you know, there. You know, I have two kidneys, so, you know, gallbladder, bladder. bladder. But I think the bladder is definitely bass drum. <laughs> 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 <sighs> that 
Yeah, 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 the sign of them, and you know how they um, they get the estimate weight with the, the making sure that the amniotic fluid. Well, y'all may not know, but you know the amniotic fluid to make sure there's enough amniotic fluid, right. making sure all limbs are intact or organs are intact. I see the kidneys, I see the bladder, uh, I see the heart. Oh, his heart is very strong. Oh my yeah. goodness, I, like I saw the chambers. Like his heart is very strong, but baby boy. Everybody's telling me, oh, you're so small, you're so small, and I'm just like small here. So, apparently, implantation, for those who know all about childbirth and stuff like that, implant implantation occurred inside my uterus, but um, posterior, which means in the back. So, I'm carrying him literally mainly in my back, and I can feel it. Guys, I can feel it. I can feel it. My back is so much. I've never had pain this much in my back. And mind you, he's baby number three. And I've had needles in my whole entire life. Needles this big in my back. Uh, for my whole lifetime of duration of being on this earth up to the present time, five times. Nope. Make that six. So for our first child, I had got the epidural, not once. Okay, rewind, let's go back. When I was 16, I was, that's the first time I was hospitalized. This is in regards to the whole MS thing. They didn't know what it was back then at the time. But I did have to get a spinal tap, which is when they take a needle that big, stick it in to take some of that spinal fluid out to test it. I had that when I was 16, so that's number one. Then number two, was our oldest son. I had to get an epidural, not once, but twice. I think I told you guys that story, like we literally were dying. I lost a lot of blood, all that stuff. But when they gave me the epidural, they wasn't ready to actually take him out. I guess they were still trying to see if I was gonna go, you know, like vaginally or whatever. But when they were ready to cut him, cut me, to take him out, and they took their scalpel and they said, I said, ow! And they were like, oh yeah, you're gonna feel pressure. I was like, pressure don't feel like this, this was pain. Like, my, my, it was pain. You know what they had to tell me? Let me tell you what they did to me. Oh, and they cut me again. That, yes, that was pain. That, that, that felt like that was very vindictive. On that me. was, that was. So literally they had to put that needle back in again for the epidural. And then I was so lifeless that when they took out my baby boy, number one, and placed him on my chest, my arms could not even hold him. I said, oh my goodness, my baby, if you don't get my baby off of me and he falls, when I get my feelings, I'm going to hurt you. So they had to quickly take him off because I could not move my body because they gave me the epidural and then took the baby. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, that's number three. Then, 2015, I had to do it again with the spinal tab. Mm -hmm. So I had the spinal tab, so that would be number four. 2020, I wasn't hospitalized, but I think I had a spinal tab again. Mm -hmm. Or did I? I think the last needle you had was the baby girl back in 2019. Well, I know that was the last one, but I'm trying to get to Oh, then I... So no, because it wasn't 20, I can't say 2015, it was 2014. Then I got it, cause that's when I had got diagnosed with that whole MS back in the day. Around five or six, I had. So you think five needles? I didn't really have no back pain, like from incisions, mm -hmm. points. If you press on it, it hurts. But with this baby, him, my baby, our baby, he got my back hurting. I'll tell you, Chris, something. Don't judge me, guys. But so. Me, hubby, you know, we're watching, you know, we, what was it? They still say that Netflix and chilling. So we were Netflix and chilling, right? And then I sit on a bed 
And I'm like, oh my goodness, I thought it was rocks on my back. So I looked at her, I'm like, what is that on my back? It was one of my dresses. My dress, like, like this material dress. Why on my back, it felt like there was a rock right there. But it was just a dress. But yeah, I was like, oh my goodness, when he showed me, oh, it's your dress. And then I thought it was like, I drank some water, put it in the back, you know, something like that. And it's something yeah. like actually hard. No, it was closed. But that's how sensitive my back has been, guys. That's how sensitive. Anyway, I just like to tell y'all that because, like, yes, yes. <laughs> but, um, update, right? Update. So, yeah, we got a couple more weeks to come, a couple more weeks before we get to actually hold baby boy in our arms. Mm -hmm. Super excited. Um, in a couple of days is actually the baby shower. Super excited about that too. Real quick before we have to go get our baby. Yeah, a couple of days we have the baby shower. Super excited. Super excited. Um, but going back, just an update. When we took these same pictures we were showing you, um, it was just basically an update because, you know, because of the history of MS, they just want to keep making sure that everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Mind you, when I had that MS, because I'm not claiming it, it was back in 2015. We're now in 2024, and I already had a child in between that time. Now, and now is when everybody's concerned about, oh, MS. I already had a child after the diagnosis. That's how I know I don't have it. But anywho, we're not going to discuss that. That's another, another topic. Um, but when they did these sonograms, um, the tech that was performing it was like, oh, wow. Well, good thing you get in a C-section because he is breached. And I'm like, what? Breach? Mind you, a week and a half ago, I had the second sonogram. And I was told he was head first. Yeah. So, baby boy decided he wanted to stomp the yard on my bladder. And it's like, oh, well. And become bleach. He had a lot of he he had a lot of time on his hands within that week because he would like she said second sonogram he was where he was supposed to, to be, be right? and she had told me that she was feeling so much pain that she didn't want to scream because it was hurt so bad. And I ended up screaming, but like everybody was sleeping in the middle of the night. I never forget. And the day explains why I thought that. Like right. I literally saw him turning, and my brain is telling you the pounds. The, so when he wasn't breached, he was already almost five pounds. Now when we just took this side of him, he's almost seven pounds. Yeah, he's six pounds eleven ounces. Like yep. he's, he's, he's a that's a big boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, we'll be the boys, because the first one was almost nine pounds, eight pounds eleven ounces, mm -hmm. and he's right now six pounds eleven ounces. So I'm like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's our current status. Um, they did say, you know, he still have time to you know, turn, right. but regardless, I'm going to see such an anyway. But if he does turn, I'll be more, I guess, more relaxed knowing, you know, about childbirth mm -hmm. and stuff. I'll feel a little bit more at ease, you know, because if let's say I'm scheduled, so like, um, I'm scheduled for a C-section, but he may want to just come out, you know. And if that's the case, and I go through his contractions, then my service opens, then he'll definitely be breaching. I still have to go through pain and get a C-section? No, 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 no. No, so. Let's keep us in prayer. Let's keep us in prayer. He, that's, that's, a, um, that's a handful in there. <laughs> to say the least, because God knows, I've been feeling contractions, but they're not steady. Right. Like, I would feel like four or five a day. And I mean, I've gone to the OBGYN, and they was like, okay, you know, just keep it posted. If it's not consist uh, consistent, then they're saying, you know, Braxton Hicks. So I'm like, okay, cool. I've gone through Braxton Hicks before, too. Mm -hmm. But, baby, when I tell you, sometimes I be like, oh my goodness, this contraction is hard. Oh my, it hurts. And it does. Like, I have to really breathe it out. And then I won't hear, I won't feel another one till like two, three days later. I'm like, sheesh, that was rough. That was rough. Mm -hmm. But you know, God is a, a keeper. He's a sustainer, and he's a keeper. It's sustainer. So yeah, that's the update. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm excited about the baby shower. Yeah. I got my dress already. Shout out to everybody that is helping make this a successful event. From my decorator, whose family, thank you so much. Shout out to the angel. I have to do that because, like, I love supporting family when I can, especially when I know they do good quality. I'm not going to support you all because I know you're going to give me a discount or something like that, even if you decide not to. I have, I can say yes or no if I'm going to, you know, want your service. But I've seen her work. I know she's good at what she does. And she has a Facebook, no, excuse me, she has an Instagram. I think she has a Facebook too. I will put it in the description. Um, but yeah, she's really good at coordinating events mm -hmm. and everything. Shout out to those who I asked if they can offer their presents and, you know, the culinary aspect of it all with food. Uh, and shout out to those who already, they aren't able to come, but, you know, we got to figure out where we're going to put all these gifts. We got gifts already at the house. Yeah. It's, already at the house. You already got a car seat. You got a... We just got a lot of stuff. We got yeah. stuff. We got stuff. I'm not going to disclose all this. not go off. Right. Place. But well, we got we got stuff for baby boy, and it's really really hitting me. Like now, I can focus. Now that I have to go to work, we can focus on you know setting up his area, you know, because baby girl got her area already, a little princess area. Now we gotta kind of get him his area, and I'm just praying to God for increase. Yeah, increase. Increase financial freedom. I'm gonna keep saying that because. God says, do what? Pray without ceasing. <laughs> That's his word. That's his word. So, yeah. We're going we, we to work it out. In Jesus' name, he got us. Definitely. Definitely. We got him. We can't wait to meet him. Yes. And hopefully the next episode of this, he, he probably going to be here. Or even probably before that. Definitely. The next episode is definitely probably going to be shower. <laughs> But any episodes after that, is he gonna be here? Right, right, that part. Mm -hmm. We definitely all have to take some time for getting ourselves organized as a family. Yeah. You know, like that's that time. Like I'm so glad I don't have to work and focus on, you know, the needs of guests, the needs of family. Right. Now keep us in prayer. Definitely. We, we are. You gotta excuse us for not being on here as consistent. We just trying to get ourselves ready for the arrival of our little baby boy. That's right. Please set up the love, set up the prayers, set up all that needs to be sent out mm -hmm. for us to have a wonderful, healthy arrival of our prince. Yeah. Well, we gonna head out. We gonna head out and then. Peace, guys. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. Yeah. We'll try our best to keep this going. Mm -hmm. Um. You guys know what to do. Run the likes up and all that good stuff. And turn the notifications on. Mm -hmm. So when we post a video, mm -hmm. y'all know what to do. So make sure you put on all. That's yes. the most important. Because put the notifications on and put it on selective. You only want to get selected on the algorithm. Well. It's not for you to show us. It's not even to see us. We want to see y'all. Mm -hmm. Right? So don't forget that, okay? okay. Put it on all. Awesome. Love you guys. Let me head out because... I'm ready to go get baby girl. I love you all. God bless. Keep them first as always. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace out.